I'm Pastor Uzo Echejile, the senior pastor of the Comforter's House Global. So the way I would uh, describe Voltage of Hype is someone that has evolved over the years and is still evolving into a better and better, better person. So that's the best description I could give. Just someone that is evolving into something better every day. Yeah, Voltage of Hype is a son, a son in the ministry, a friend, active, functional member, a partner, a supporter. His boldness to be able to take on tasks and carry them through and fulfill them. I think that boldness is something that I love about him. I would say that his career growth has been phenomenal, has been something inspiring. is a story that you could use to inspire many other young people out there. I love how much he has invested into his own personal growth. If I would say this about Voltage of Hype, I don't think there is someone that was doing what he is doing that you will now say he is doing it like this person. So he has been able to search deep and bring out that originality, that talent that God gave to him and he's been able to bring it out and make it something that would make people happy, make people rejoice and make people glad. I know Voltage of Hype, he's someone that um, has faced a lot of storm and he faces them alone. And sometimes we talk about them as his pastor, he makes me know, but um, he's been through a lot, but people won't know. First of all, talking about his background and where he's coming from, I don't think there's anybody that um, picked him and said, I want to pave way for you. He has always done most of the things he did by himself and with courage. And talking about pushing from the floor, from the ground to the top, getting into a terrain you're not familiar with, carving out a niche, it's like creating a profession from nothing. And those challenges are things that Voltage of Hype has been able to overcome. So what I know he has inside is still so much. So we are not about resting. I don't think Voltage of Hype should be resting right now because of what he has on his inside. There is still so much to conquer. Yeah, from where we are now, he's kind of a trailblazer in the celebrity hype thing but he has not gotten to the peak yet. Why I say he has not gotten to the peak, it doesn't mean he's not number one. He's number one, but there is still so much he has on his inside, so watch out for this guy. Voltage of Vibe could have been a footballer. I know he's a good footballer, but you know in Nigeria it's not easy. And as I said, he had to dig deep when football was not working. And he went into fashion, he's into fashion, he can, he's making what I'm wearing now, he made it. So you can see that this guy would still excel as a fashion designer, um, as an entertainer, many, many, many more, many, many more. And I know even in business, he's a good businessman, he's a good businessman, he can, he can do well with business, he, he has financial intelligence. So there is still a lot more that Voltage can do outside just what he's doing now. Wow, which area? Mm. Which area, which area, which area? Voltage of life is always improving. That's one thing I love about him. Every time we sit down and we discuss, I see him telling me, this is what I want to do next. This is what I want to do next. So someone that already has the mindset that there is so much more to do. It's not easy to even tell him this is the area I want you to improve in because he already knows he has to improve. 